And there we go. Into the battle we go. Game number five, New Star versus Gra, the final game of tonight. Hooray! Who's gonna win? Please. New Star or Gra? Who do you prefer, the VK or the T71? <laughs> I like them both. Do you know what? I really gotta say that uh, New Star's not tactics but lineup is very reminiscent before that American patch. You know, AMX 90s ra uh, rampant. Uh, the VK2801 in the lineup, even before it, you know, normally it would be tier um, 5. But I don't think they would have changed anything. They would have just made the Bison a Strum Panzer. That's it. That's yeah. the only change they would have made to this lineup if the VK was still tier 5, I reckon. Pretty sure you're right. Pretty sure you're right. <clears throat> Rest in peace mm -hmm. is staying back again. Wait, no, for the first time he's staying back immediately and not going to the middle first. Oh, yeah, yes. And here we have Asunder. Asunder suiciding in the... Not suiciding in the middle. Using proximity scouting to find out what Just Cause, Karez, and Vox are doing. All three are scouted. They're now looking across the, the, the way to Narigra, who Good Knight is also spotting. Drydor is moving through the middle. We should be careful because he probably will get spotted soon. But the T2 light does go down. And Good Knight to Good Knight. Vosk, though, is staying in the open and getting hit. Uh, that must have been the Once artillery hitting him there. It's always him. <laughs> he hasn't learned, and he's always hit again. <laughs> and again oh, and again. What the? He needs to get into cover. Vosk, what are you doing, man? Uh, rest in peace is uh, being very cautious, trying to make sure he can get into a good position without being spotted. But they're panicking now with Sunder in such a great position to spot them all. They're trying to break formation and make a dash for the base. Look at this. There's no slowing down for the fifth game here. New Star moving straight into the base of Gra. Yeah, they should at least just uh, kill the T1 because he is spotting and Just Cause will be going for him, but he's running away. Oh, well. This is a waste of time. Wait a minute. Um, this is the formation we did see. Um, but no, Karez is spotted. There is no way he's uh, over there unspotted. That's the difference here between um, the situation in the first game, the first set, and this one. Uh, who successfully did that again? Which team? Not. Not. Not successfully did this earlier, but uh, it looks like New Star haven't got the same advantage. And Blips and Art are coming around the corner with Lucille, all ready to try and take these guys out. Jaskor is still messing around with the T1 though. Unable to get anything damage done and is trying then... Is he going to come back? But no! He's going to no. lose. Vox is going to go down. Too much damage was received by him by Artillery early on and he goes down first. Rest in peace and Drydor are going to go down very quickly to these autoloaders. Gra are in such a strong position right now. It looks like they are, are fed up of New Star, clawing back some games. Caress is down to 153 HP. That's a one shot by practically everything but the T1. Just Cause is at max health because he was messing around with the T1 while his teammates died. Getting a great shot on a shot on Negria, but that's way too little, way too late. Yeah. The ram though goes oh. off and he forgets that Just Cause is heavier than him, and he goes down. Um, being the only loss, that was pretty disappointing, actually. It looked like it was going to be a, a flawless victory for Gra, finishing the end of the game. But uh, yeah. no, they decided to sacrifice, and Koretz is now running for his life. And uh, that's it, I think. We have our winners today of Gra over Newstar after... Um, what the hell? Monastery is killing his teammates there. Oh dear, bad manners coming out here from Gra as they say that we've won, guys. GG, calling it an all chat and uh, killing themselves. Uh, quick killing each other. Blips, though, on the other hand, is right on the tail of Koretz and is trying to take him out, and he does oh. get in. Great awareness from Blips to cut him off at the corner there. And Krot, as slow as he is, moves up into the open to try and reset the counter and get another kill before the end of the game. That was... Um... Oh, and he gets it! <laughs> <laughs> Before he goes down, a Sunder gets killed. And three tanks for Gra goes down. But, as we can see, that does mean that Gra has won. Wow. That was down to the wire, really. Yeah, I think... Uh, well, with the reload time of the VK-28... I don't think it would have meant such a big difference if the T1 hadn't been there and keeping his attention because they had plenty of HP left, all of them nearly, after that uh, that battle. 
Well, no, if the VK was there, he would have got two or three shots off, which is like 900 HP. Damn it. Nah, nah. And he would have prevented um, Corsets from being taken out so early in the battle. Although nah. he lost a lot of HP from the Bison. Are you sure? Well, I, I, they would stand a better chance. I'm not saying they would definitely win, but they would have... I mean, without the VK there, they definitely lost. And I think if the yeah. VK was there, they would have had a good chance to at least uh, broken even there or prevented them from just rushing. Because Grad did just rush. Once they realized the VK wasn't there, they just rushed over the hill and just took them out. They outnumbered them and therefore they won. Simple as that. Yeah. But anyway, that is enough casting live for you today. We're going to set a, we're going to re- have a replay set for you in a minute that's going to play and that is uh, Rush versus Gra from the first one was it? Or we got a game coming for you after the break and we will see you tomorrow at 6 p.m. central for more live Water Tanks Golden League action. I'm Dorian. And I'm Half-Life 15. This is Riveting TV. We'll see you tomorrow.